From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Joshua John Russell is a pastry chef and cake designer from Atlanta, Georgia. He graduated in 2002 from Johnson & Wales University and started his career as a pastry chef at the famous Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. Joshua made a name for himself appearing on 15 episodes of Food Network Challenge, winning five, and all six episodes of Last Cake Standing, as well as local media and TV outlets. In 2015, Joshua was named one of the top 10 cake designers in North America by Dessert Professional Magazine. You can catch Joshua in the Amazon Prime series titled Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge, premiering December 13th. For more information about Joshua, you can check out you'vebeendeserted.com or follow Joshua on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Joshua, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to speak with us. We really appreciate it. Um, my first question for you. So you started your career as a pastry chef in uh, North Carolina. And so if you could go back and tell yourself about where you are today, um, what would surprise you the most? I'm going to show my age here, but uh, the social media aspect of everything. And, you know, from a, a young age of like seven, when I stole my sister's Easy Bake Oven, I kind of always knew that I wanted to somehow uh, combine art, because I was always very, very artistic, very good at art, with food. Uh, my father taught me how to cook, and my grandmother, they were very, very good uh, cooks. Um, but I, I, I just didn't want to be like on a line cooking for the rest of my life. I wanted to create art out of everything. And so I always wanted my own show, of course, a lot of chefs do. Um, and it, it ended up happening on YouTube. And then also like uh, competitions on Food Network, guest judging spots, now judging and under contract with Amazon. So I don't think I ever saw that for my life just because it didn't exist when I came out of culinary school. When I came out of culinary school, that's when chefs became rock stars. You know, like that's when really like Emeril Lagasse and all those chefs that sort of paved the way for people like me started really getting popular on Food Network. Um, and so I guess, yeah, I, I kind of got what I wanted, but in a much different way, <laughs> you know? Yeah, definitely. And you and and the chefs are the rock stars now. It's like even at a local level, you see the name of the chef on the, <laughs> on the restaurant when you walk in. Especially, yes, yeah, chef-driven restaurants like that. And people now, you know, follow chefs like they do um, uh, their favorite band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and you briefly touched on it. Um, I want to hear more about this uh, this Amazon Prime show you have coming out. Yeah, so we filmed it in May, and um, I've done lots of guest judging spots. Uh, I guest judged on the show Nailed It. I guest judged on a lot of Food Network stuff, a couple shows for Hulu, um, and a lot of those shows besides Nailed It only sort of lasted one season. Um, and so I, I get asked a lot to judge. And for me, it has to be the right fit. Um, so I say no a lot, <laughs> uh, but this one came across, uh, you know, my desk per se of my workbench. And uh, it was, I love Dr. Seuss. And it's also Amazon or Prime Video's first, uh, you know, cooking competition show. So that was very enticing to be like, you know, on the forefront of that and, and the money they put behind it and the set and, you know, I had to go through multiple rounds of auditions. I had actually worked with Tamara Housley before on a Hulu show, so that felt comfortable. Uh, but yeah, it was it was the first time I was like, I have to get this part. <laughs> Otherwise, it was always like, eh, if I get it, fine. If I don't, whatever. And usually I would get to the very end and they would pick the other person and then they would just have me slide in guest judge. Uh, but this one, yeah, I got to the very end of casting. They even flew me out to Los Angeles and I quarantined for like three days <laughs> in a hotel room while people came in and put clothes on me and measured them and tailored them. And it was bizarre. Um, but yeah, that first day on set, I was like, yep, this is the right fit for me. So it was fantastic. And I'm really excited to see how it turned out. It's great. And that, that's uh, Tuesday the 13th? The 13th, yeah. yeah. And, and I, honestly, I don't know how it's going to drop. I don't know if they're going to dump the whole thing or if they're going to do it episodically um, mm-hmm. because they haven't told me yet. <laughs> We're getting close. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait and see. But it was such a great experience. And um, yeah, I hope more to come with Amazon. Uh, my YouTube show, You've Been Deserted, 
uh, me and the boys who own the show together, uh, Amazon asked us to do all their digital marketing for it. So we did um, sort of a short YouTube video um, that matches each of the episodes. So those will roll out as well. So I'm like all wrapped up in Amazon right now. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that, that's all, those shows, they really pull you in. I, I remember walking by, you know, my son was watching some show like, like what is it cake or whatever? I'm like, what, what is this? And then- Oh, I, I know, you know that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two episodes in, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a telephone, or is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Want to join Intellifluence as an influencer? It's free, easy, and you get to keep 100% of your earnings. Go to Intellifluence.com, click or tap Influencers, then click or tap the Join for Free button. Once you have registered for free as an influencer, you can start creating offers with custom pricing and services. Brands can pitch you to work with them via these offers. Once you have created your offers, head over to the marketplace and browse opportunities for brands. Apply to any and all that are a great fit. Earn cash quickly by referring your friends and family. And so, so you're all across social media. What's your favorite type of content to produce? You know, uh, <laughs> just because it's so easy and silly, uh, TikTok for sure. Um, and it scares me that it might be going away because I really enjoy it. Uh, but I do this series on TikTok where I talk about things in the grocery store and I sort of like alter my voice. And, and I, I started on TikTok just doing, uh, you know, pastry things, very short videos of, I call it dancey hands, where it's just like showing my hands and music. And people enjoyed it. Uh, and then one of my videos went super viral. I think it has 17 million views now. And it, it was because people underneath were fighting in the comments and I'm like, just let it go. Let them fight. I don't care. <laughs> it's good for us. And then I started this series that people really enjoy. Uh, that's really fun because it's easy. Uh, but but you've been deserted. Like, that's my baby, my YouTube show. Um, we have, uh, most of our fans are kids and I, I'm not a father myself, but I have three nephews and a niece and I spoil them and I, I love children. I don't know that I'll have any of my own. Um, and maybe this is just my way of being a dad, just entertaining kids. But I get so many DMs and emails from parents who say, you're the best digital babysitter ever. Because they can just start the show. We have like 100 episodes and the kids will watch it like because we're just silly and funny. And, you know, we come up with this fantastical treat at the end, which they like seeing. But I think it's just the lightheartedness of the show. We're kind of like Pee Wee's Playhouse meets a baking show. Uh, so th that's probably th the thing I'm most proud of. Uh, TikTok is the most fun just because it's it's just so silly. Definitely, definitely. And what's on tap for next year? Where 2023 will be here before we know it. What, what, what do you have going on? Well, I'm under contract with Amazon for three seasons. So there will be definitely another season of the Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge. Um, we're going to move forward with You've Been Deserted on YouTube for sure. Uh, but we uh, just hired a new agency and they are looking to sort of wrap an idea up into like a bow, as they call it, and try to sell it to a network. So hopefully we can move from YouTube to a streaming service. Uh, but I don't think it will ever be off YouTube. I think that will just uh, turn into something else because we really enjoy doing YouTube videos. It's sort of we get to do whatever we want. Uh, no one can tell us what to do or what not to do. We listen to our fans. Uh, so yeah, next year, it, it's kind of a big question mark, but it's all really good stuff, if that makes sense. That's great, that's great, that's wonderful. And then uh, my coworker came up with this last question, kind of snarky. If one cake trend could disappear forever, which would you choose? Oh man, there's so many I hate. <laughs> Not hate, I think that it's just, uh, yeah, there's some that are kind of overdone. Like the Geo thing was fun. I I was in it with everybody else. I did a lot of those. I think that's sort of teetering on. It's about time to you know be done with that. Uh, yeah, you know, for a while there was like the farm to table naked cakes, which I hated because it's not. I don't get to be artistic as I want to. Once a cake is like covered in buttercream or fondant and it's completely white or whatever color, that's your canvas. But, you know, when you have to stop halfway through and just put flowers on a cake, it's so boring. <laughs> it's good for money, you know, like it's easy. Um, so yeah, that one for sure. Uh, trying to think of what else drives me insane. 
I think maybe, maybe those two for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick those two. Geode and then the salt naked cake vibe. Let's go back to like super elaborate cakes. That's what I like to do. Lots of piping and flowers and sculpted things and you know, let me show my art. My my son's got this fascination with uh, with uh, ship disasters. So his birthday party was a Titanic theme with a Titanic theme cake going. To that is so random, but I kind of love it. I have a friend who her son was born uh, like two weeks before Halloween, and he's I think four, and is obsessed with all things scary. Like wants to watch scary movies. And he had like a slasher themed birthday party this year. <laughs> She's like, I don't know where this kid came from. Like, we don't, we just, on Halloween, we dress up, but he's obsessed with it because he's born in October. Like, that's awesome. Oh, so it's, wow. the, it's the strangest thing what, what kids like, you know, clip onto. You know, I think for me, like when I was younger, really obsessed with baking and cooking and it wasn't cool back then. So my parents are like, I did really well in school. They're like, are you sure this is what you want to do? Like. And then by the time I got out of culinary school, everything started to pick up for chefs. And they're like, oh, we get it now. I'm like, yeah, see, <laughs> it worked out. Yeah. The IntelliFluence for Influencers app enables you to earn free products or cash in exchange for your honest reviews using your mobile device. Upon logging in or signing up for free, if you haven't already, you will arrive at your custom dashboard where you can view transactions that need your attention at a glance or browse our recommended offers from brands. Check out marketplace offers from brands and apply to your favorites. Once you accept a pitch from a brand, you can complete the entire transaction anywhere using your mobile device and communicate with the brand using our intuitive messaging tool. You will never have to go outside the app. View your earnings summary, including upcoming payments, as well as your entire history. You can view your influencer profile strength and make any necessary updates to your profile to put you in better position to be pitched. Edit your details such as compensation preferences and social accounts with ease. If you could ever use some help, you can access the IntelliFluence knowledge base or contact support at any time from the app. As an influencer, there are never any fees associated with using our influencer marketing service and you get to keep all of your earnings. Download the free IntelliFluence for Influencers app today and get started.